Hey guys, John here once again, another plus one daily. This is it. This is the end of the book, man. We've got to chapter seven and eight, seven and eight of uh, the School of Greatness, uh, and we're done. We're we're finished. I uh, hope, first of all, I hope you guys have enjoyed this experience. It's a, it's a little, and my bird is going to go crazy. So you guys are going to hear a soundtrack of me trying to talk about the book as well as my parrot squawking. Because that's what she does. She's quiet the entire morning, and then when I start a video, she starts chirping up. Anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed the experience. This has been a lot of fun, uh, and um, I've I've learned a lot. Mostly, mostly this is the first time I've ever really broken down a book chapter by chapter and shared it with you guys. So I, again, I hope you guys really serious, really like you can't just be quiet for three minutes as I just do this video I digress hope you guys have enjoyed this experience because it's first time I've ever done something like this instead of just doing a book review it was an in-depth study chapter by chapter so I hope you guys have learned a lot uh, and uh, get ready for our next book which is start with why we're gonna be doing this on the 3rd of April start with why by Simon Sinek so looking forward to that that's the next book we'll be doing in depth like we're doing with uh, the School of Greatness. So, anyways, chapter 7 and 8. Chapter 7 uh, was a message that I actually... The first time I ever heard this message was from Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And he always said, you want to be kind of the dumbest person in the room. You want to surround yourself with smart people. Great people. And uh, I thought that was uh, really, really a big message. It kind of changed the way I thought about business years ago. Uh, and uh, Lewis talked about that in chapter 7 of this book, where he says, you want to build great teams. Uh, it's okay not to be amazing at everything, but, you know, as long as you are surrounding yourself with amazing people, your team is going to do great things. So that was the big takeaway from Chapter 7. Chapter 8 kind of brought it all home. Really, really did. Uh, the end of the book was talking about the first seven chapters about building your greatness, but the, the last part was building greatness for the world. Leave the world in a better place that you first found it in. And that's a big plus one. Truly, truly believe that is the biggest message of this book. Living a life of service. And there's so many things I could say about this. Um, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it all into a big package when I do the, the, the final review of this book on Sunday. Uh, but uh, that, what a great way to end the book. The big message that all, all we're doing here is we're trying to live a, a life of service. Everything that we're doing, the greatness that we're after, it's for a bigger purpose. And that was the big takeaway from the last chapter in this book. And kind of what brought the whole book into a nice com completion. Kind of led up to it. So, all in all, great, great read. Uh, chapters 7 and 8 were kind of, like I said in the, the blog post, the icing on the cake. The icing on the cake, of course, is the, bu the bird going crazy while I'm doing these videos. It's amazing. And, and I, would, I would leave the bird upstairs with my wife, but my wife isn't home right now. She went out to the movies with her cousin, so I'm stuck with the bird, and uh, the bird, of course, is going to squawk while I'm doing these videos, because that's what birds do. Anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic day. Uh, that concludes the in-depth book study uh, of The School of Greatness, a fantastic, fantastic read, and I'll finish everything up on the weekend without the bird. The bird won't be here. <laughs> the bird will be upstairs with the wife. Um... Uh, when we do the, the final book review. So chapter 7 and 8. Chapter 7 was building great teams. Surrounding yourself with great people that really excel at things you might not. And then finally chapter 8 was talking about living a life of service. And leaving the planet a little bit better than when you first got on it. So that's a huge plus one. Uh, have a great day. Hope you guys enjoyed the book study. And we will fire it up again on Monday with Start With Why. So toodles, have a great day. Yes, and Mookie is saying bye too. Of course, the bird is.